Hello to the 369 family, friends, clients, everyone that's been supporting us. Today I'd like to talk to you about what's been going on in the markets. We got the upcoming election coming up, which is a, a hot topic nowadays, and ultimately educate you on where the markets are going and how we're feeling about things. And it's actually a very exciting time. We just got our first interest rate cut in a long, long time, and that has helped increase the stock market because when interest rates go down, it unilaterally increases assets in terms of their values, including including stocks, which a stock is a company and a company is a stock. In addition to that, it's gonna cause bond prices to go up as well because when you could buy bonds a year ago, they had a higher rate than you can buy them for now, which makes them more valuable. What we've done is set up everyone's portfolios based on their risk tolerance to ensure that we create a heads I win, tails I don't lose much scenario. So the heads I win is everything continues to rise no matter who's elected as our next commander in chief. On the flip side of that, let's just say we hit a little turbulence up in the air. We've positioned our portfolios and your money so that if and or when there is a market downturn, we're already prepared for it. In addition to that, there are investors such as Kathy Wood in particular, who has gotten a lot of notoriety in the investment space. And over the last five years, her investment portfolio hasn't done very well. And what a lot of people aren't really talking about is over the last several years, the markets in general really haven't been that great either. If you actually look at the performance over the last several years with S&P 500, the NASDAQ, and the Dow Jones, you know, their performance has been pretty average. It's just we had a huge dip in the markets in 2022 when interest rates were hiked several times, which caused the prices of everything to go down. And then we've had a nice rebound back and it gets investors excited. When you scale back though, and you actually look at the equal weighted technology exchange trade fund, Triple Q, and the equal weighted S&P 500, their performance is not very good at all, really it's really below average. So what that's telling us is with the price to earnings ratio of triple Q being at or near 40, that's pretty high. And once the price to earnings ratio of an investment starts to get pretty high, that means it's being more expensive to people to purchase it. And what's that telling us is, is that the earnings of those companies hasn't caught up to the price that it's trading into the market. And what that would tell us is that we feel like that price that it's currently available would be over overvalued. A lot of people are speculating that this could be like in 1998 to 2000 when Warren Buffett was underperforming the technology index, the NASDAQ. People were like, hey, has the Oracle of Omaha lost it? When you fast forward, you're going to see in this chart, everything came back to equilibrium and we are looking to do the same. There's going to be a lot of noise in the markets always about, oh, you need to put your money here. You need to do this. You need to do that. That's not what we're going to do. We're looking to buy the best companies at the best possible possible valuations and allow the money to compound over time at a reasonable rate of return. So that might be giving up some investment returns in the short run. However, over the course of time, if we continue to make good investment decisions, eventually we're going to find ourselves in a happy place when it comes to investment returns and what we're going to see over the long run. And that's the hard part about investing is staying invested for the long run and staying as emotionless with the investments as possible. So if you are someone who needs help with planning or you have uncertain circumstances, you know, just call me, send me an email, let me know, and we can plan for it accordingly. We can always update your financial plan to ensure that you are exactly where you need to be in terms of achieving all your financial goals and objectives. In addition to that, I've been very excited to say that this year we've been able to take two of our clients into the million dollar threshold. So they've been with us for several years. And when we started, we weren't sure what was going to happen. I mean, there's no guarantees with investing or anything like that, but we were able to take them into the million dollar investment club. And that's the reason I do what I do is to help be a part of that journey. And that's why I left working at large financial institutions so that I can make as much of a difference with your investment returns and what you're looking to achieve financially as humanly possible. So that makes me really happy and it made them very happy. And I can hope to continue to help more people get to that million dollar and above threshold or to get you as much money as we can possibly make you within reason. And that's part of the whole investment game is to stay Stay in it as long as you can, make the best possible investment decisions, and to ultimately ensure that we are creating a heads I win, tails I don't lose much scenario. And if we find ourselves in that tails 
I don't lose much scenario. How are we gonna take advantage of what the market gives us and have the market come to us rather than going to the market? And that's what we did earlier in the year as well by adjusting out of technology companies that we've done really well on. The prices are just getting a little crazy. So I would rather allocate that money into other organizations and other companies that have a more fair valuation and are cheap trading much cheaper than technology companies are. And ultimately, I'm happy with the progress that we've made. I'm happy about where we're positioned for each and one of our clients. And the future is very exciting. If you have any questions, send me an email or a note to josh at 369financial.com. Also, we've been revamping our website. So you can go ahead and check it out. And if you have any ideas that make it better, please let me know. So visit www.369financial.com. And also, I'm currently working on making some 369 financial golf shirts for men and women. And we want to make the proceeds donated to the Len Matisse Foundation out of Jacksonville, Florida. And he focuses on anti-bullying in the Jacksonville area. So I'm working on some samples. So keep your eyes open for any notes for me to gain interest on whether or not you'd want one of those shirts or not. And if there's enough interest, I'm going to go ahead and move forward and invest in getting those shirts so that we can ensure that the nine in 369 stands for philanthropy. And it's it's important not just the take but we also want to give back to the community and I felt like an anti-bullying cause is a great cause to get behind and ultimately I want to continue to stand true to the values of 369 financial and what we stand for enjoy the rest of 2024 it's crazy that 2025 is coming up we got Thanksgiving Christmas New Year's Hanukkah Kwanzaa anything that you might celebrate so enjoy the family time and I would recommend if you want to chat let's chat in October because once November hits and the holiday season is upon us we're going to blink our eyes and it's going to be 2025. So thank you very much for your support, your trust, and let's get to it. Bye, everyone.